The U.S. and Colombia are currently negotiating a deal to build seven American military bases on Colombian soil to fight the war on drugs. But many of the country's neighbors have come out firmly against the decision, citing the threat to their national security. Earlier, RT spoke to Eva Gollinger, an attorney and author, who said she thought the decision was about more than just preventing drug trafficking. But there has been an ongoing escalation of military presence in the region on behalf of the United States over the past 10 years through Plan Colombia. We're, we're talking close to $10 billion overall in investment uh, by the, the United States government in these efforts to thwart drug uh, trafficking and production in Colombia and to fight against leftist guerrillas in Colombia. Nevertheless, what we've seen over the past 10 years is actually an increase in drug production and drug trafficking, particularly between Colombia and the United States. So what's become apparent to most in the region is that Plan Colombia really doesn't have uh, the objective of addressing directly the war on drugs, but actually is more a plan of the United States to establish a very present military force and power in the region in order to secure its control over this region's natural resources and strategic resources. And we know, for example, Venezuela is one of the major oil-producing countries in the world, and that certainly the United States government has its eye on controlling these reserves in Venezuela, and under the leadership of President Chavez, not the, the supply to the United States of oil has not been stopped or slowed down, but certainly is no longer uh, the priority of Venezuela to just supply the United States. So the U.S. already occupies three military bases in Colombia, 12 radar sites, has on site several thousand uh, U.S. Uh, between troops and different officials of the armed forces and, of, and law and security from the United States are already operating in Colombia. We've already had incidents coming out of Colombia directed towards Venezuela and directed towards another neighbor country, Ecuador, uh, on behalf of Colombia that have formed a part of what the U.S. calls preventive war, preventive warfare, attacking so-called leftist rebels that have spilled over the borders into the neighboring countries. And so there's a great fear that this level of increase, we're talking about occupying seven more military bases, uh, naval bases, army bases, air bases in Colombia for a so-called war on drugs. It's, it's too excessive of a U.S. military force and presence to just be addressing the issue of drug trafficking. And what's become apparent to Venezuela and others in the region is that this is an effort of the United States to reestablish its domination and control in this region.